The recent study by Recurrent on how well Tesla batteries perform in cold and hot climates revealed more than what the media has been saying. I think the media doesn't really understand why this survey is actually really fascinating. In general, in the cold, Tesla batteries retained range for longer than in the hot, but certain models were looked at and they exposed a more interesting trend. And one I've spoken about on the channel on numerous occasions. In fact, even Elon Musk himself has mentioned this in the past. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. A long-term Tesla battery health study shows that in cold climates, Tesla batteries generally perform a bit better. Not a huge difference though. Electric vehicles get more range loss in cold climates, in particular lithium iron phosphate batteries, at least today's LFP technology. In the future, that is going to change. However, a new study shows that in colder areas, batteries, in particular Tesla EV batteries, will perform better over the long term. But this is a little bit misleading, and I'll explain why this study has been misinterpreted by pretty much all media up until, well, up until this video. On Monday last week, Recurrent Auto shared results from a study showing that Tesla vehicles owned and operated in cold climates had better average range than those in hot climates. The study looked at 12,500 Tesla vehicles in the United States, pretty big actual study here, using recurrent data, which has access to this information through software. The study found that in general, Tesla models and model years showed the results in particular were evident, while the most evident with the Tesla Model Y. There's a good reason for this, by the way. Tesla Model Y units with the 2020 model year average range scores of 95 in colder climates, but 92 in warmer climates. So you can see here, you're getting, a, what's that? A fair bit more battery degradation in a warmer climate using Tesla Model Y range data versus in a colder climate. Tesla Rady says that researchers gave the Tesla range scores to capture how much of a given EV's range was still expected at the time of the study. A Tesla vehicle with a range score of 90, for example, would still have 90% of its initial range. In addition, the study was conducted using the US Department of Energy's hot, cold, and marine climate designations. So people were saying, why did the study only look at Tesla vehicles? Well, Recurrent says they're the most common EVs available and they're able to give us the data. There's a lot of other EVs where they weren't able to get that data from. They also said that Tesla's battery thermal management system offers great protection against environmental damage to the battery's long-term health. In general, they say it's better than other EVs in the United States for doing that. Recurrent says heat from the environment contributes additional energy to an EV battery's electrochemical reactions accelerating unwanted chemical reactions that cause the battery to age. It also says that 86 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius is a generally accepted threshold for accelerated battery degradation. But the key here is this study, of course, as you can see, is really only assessing the Model Y, which does not use lithium ion phosphate batteries in the United States. So it's very misleading because if you'd heard this study from the media, you would believe, right, that simply being in a warmer climate would be worse for you to have an EV. But that's not really true. Now, if they were to include the results from the Model 3, or well, today's Model 3s, or the results from the Model Y and the Model 3 in most other countries worldwide, where they do use lithium ion phosphate batteries, then these numbers would have been, of course, vastly different. So you can see that using lithium ternary batteries or 2170 cells, which have a nickel, manganese and cobalt chemistry, well, yeah, those batteries are not quite as good with longevity when it gets hot. Lithium ion phosphate batteries, on the other hand, don't seem to be really affected by this. So that's worth keeping in mind. If you live in a hot area, Elon Musk has said this himself, better to get LFP cells if you have that option. Now you don't with the 4680 cells or with Tesla's Model Ys because they all come with a ternary chemistry battery. With the Model 3 though, you do. The standard range Model 3 in the US 
has lithium ion phosphate cells now. The more expensive long range and performance versions don't. They have, of course, the ternary battery chemistry. Now there are some things as an owner of an EV or a Tesla Model Y, Model S and Model X that you can do to protect the longevity of your batteries. You can park in the shade. You can park in the garage to help prevent the battery from heating up when it's not even being used. And when you need to park in the sun, Recurrence says charging to halfway is the safest way to eliminate battery degradation and it's more stable. Now, the reality is here that this actually contradicts another study that said that um, it doesn't matter how you charge your Tesla, it doesn't really change uh, the battery degradation levels. So there's a little bit of confusion here in existence around different EV myths. Whether buying new or used, you want to really consider whether that or where you are and what type of battery chemistry you're buying. And this is probably even more relevant for those of you outside of the United States, because like I said, uh, outside of the US, you do have the choice for buying the world's most popular car. This year, the Tesla Model Y is the best selling car in the world. And you get a choice when you buy the Model Y and you're not in the US. For example, Canada, China, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, the base model Model Y has LFP cells. The other versions have lithium ternary batteries. So if you live in a really hot climate, you probably want to consider getting those LFP batteries. Maybe, depends on your needs. Now keep in mind, the truth is here that this study, it's a little misleading in another way. The truth is that Tesla batteries these days have excellent thermal management. They also have heat pumps and they work incredibly well at maintaining battery life. In fact, there are many, many hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Tesla vehicles that have done hundreds of thousands of kilometers or hundreds of thousands of miles on their original battery packs. So batteries today have improved drastically from where they were five years ago and enormously from where they were 10 years ago. You really don't need to worry too much about buying a new modern EV, about your battery, it's likely to last you longer than you'll own the car. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.